He has apologised, but he's not off the hook. The Deputy Premier, Brian Green, has been forced to defend his drink driving charge during budget estimates. The opposition has attacked the attitude of the former chairman of the Road Safety Council, saying he's sending a poor message to other motorists. On the agenda was primary industries and water, but the focus was far from it. The opposition didn't miss an opportunity to scrutinise the Deputy Premier's behaviour over the weekend. But it's not the drink driving charge, rather his apology that the Liberals have attacked. Telling everyone that 0.068 is a low reading and therefore would tend to excuse uh, the, uh, that reading. It's, it's you know, 20 per cent over the limit. Brian Green, who's the former chairman of the Road Safety Council, wouldn't retract the statement. Well, I, made, I indicated that obviously uh, it was over the limit. Brian Green's uh, lost any sense of perspective if he believes that's a low reading. That sends an appalling message to Tasmanians. The Minister for Energy was also feeling the heat over the findings of an independent review into Tasmania's electricity prices. The electricity supply industry expert panel found power prices were increased to pay for the Tamer Valley power station, but the station isn't generating enough revenue to cover its cost. Who's been advising you and why are they still working for you? Well, like, how, where's the heads that are going to roll on the basis that you've made some decisions you say by good advice. Well, it was terrible advice, obviously, wasn't it? Mr Green insists the 2008 purchase was necessary to keep the lights on in Tasmania, but says it's rained considerably since then. If the drought had been prolonged and the lights had been going out, you'd have been in here saying, why didn't you make that decision? You've let Tasmanians down. If we were making the decision today, then would have been a different commercial Which perspective. Which will be quiet. I, I don't know. Under questioning on forestry, Mr Green revealed the state government spent $633,000 on the peace talks so far. Anna Yard, ABC News.